everyone this is mugundan and today we are going to see the json assertion in some of the time the request can give the response in the format of json in order to confirm the json validity we will be doing the json assertion for instance you can refer the sample website rekey or us which will give the sample request and response for the json here you can see so this is the request when you make the request with get type then you will be getting the response with response code 200 and the content will be in the json format this can be used in our jmeter to make sure we are using the json assertion going to the jmeter i have created one more thread group as usual and created the http request but in this scenario i have given the sample website which is the requres.in and as you see here this is the get type and we have done the same type of request here request type will be get and the url remaining url will be slash api slash users parameter will be page is equal to 2 and obviously you will be getting the response something like this and coming to the jmeter again here you might be getting the response okay fine and the response obviously in the previous video we have seen the response assertion here we are making sure the response code is 200 because as we know that as per the documentation or the, as per the website it will be giving the response as 200 now second one json assertion json assertion can be added at the sampler level also right click add assertions and the second one will be the json assertion now coming to the json assertion I know that I can be doing any type of assertion inside the JSON. However, just to understand, we can use the online editor or online evaluator for the JSON path. So what is JSON? What is a JSON path? JSON path is nothing but the path you will write to determine a specific element inside the JSON. For instance, you can consider I want to make sure the email which comes under the ID 7 should be having michael.lawson at requres.in so if i want to make sure this is the expected result i want to achieve in the response so that i can measure the performance the point to be noted here is like here we are not doing anything on the json validation entirely this is the only the first step to make sure we are getting the valid json response obviously our end goal will be to measure the performance of the given api now let's say i want to get the michael lawson so just I will remove everything and if I press the dollar it will show everything in the dollar that means the entire object is with me entire JSON now I put the dot now I can access any key in that for example I can type page which is the one of the key which has the value as 2 now if I type data the data has the value the value itself is the list so in that case I want to get this first item the index starts from 0 and the first item will be id7 if i want the second item the id will be 1 sorry the index will be 1 now let's say in the first object which is id7 email and i want to get the email so dot email now here you can see so this is the expected result i want to achieve for example michael so let's consider i am going to check with michael is coming or not so what I have to do is like go to the jmeter and look for the same index which is a 0 and I am expecting something sorry let's go here and copy this yes we don't need to have any quotes yes now as of now I will remove the regular expression okay then save it and go to the assets no results so far just run it and here you can see the assets has been passed so that means that the value that we are expecting inside the email which is for the first index which is michael lawson dot req or esn but in some scenarios we cannot always go with the hard coded value sometimes we need to make sure the format by using the regular expression it can be the type or it can be any regular expression for the same instance rather than fixing the michael.lawson i want to have any name but it also ends with at req res dot in so in that case there is an option inside the jmeter which is the regular expression which I have seen in the first scenario also let's click on that and here rather than mentioning this one the regular expression can be something like this here i want to make sure 
since you have started the regular expression even the dot matters because in dot regular expression it can be considered as a single character so that's the reason we try to have the only the regular expression characters like a dot pipe symbol asterisk symbol dollar symbol and in case if your text itself having the dot or any special character we need to provide with the backslash or oh, sorry front slash so now i copy the same and i will explain again why what it is the dot means that it can be a single character and after that definitely it will be a single character then followed by any number of characters because asterisk symbol mentioned zero to any number of characters so that means that at least i expect one character followed by any number of characters so just to mention that i am mentioning the dot followed by the asterisk then at req resn the dot symbol here it's not representing the regular expression it is representing the content itself so i am just putting the slash then dot im then again i am saving and i am running and here you can see the assets will not fail why because it matches just to prove that i will change some other index for example let's say go to 1 and it's looking for the some other email id obviously it ends with at req res.in let me clear everything and just run it one more time go to the assets results again you get the past results that means that it matches the regular expression so in that case you don't need to change every time the assert statement we can write the regular expression however this regular expression follows the perl regular expression style i will be giving the url to the description as well you can refer how we can do it the same example here you can see match zero or more times and there are a lot of other combination you can make it out for simplicity we have made only the dot and asterisk symbol so this is all about the json assertion so basically we have seen what is the json assertion basically how to write the json path so here you can write the json path and it is not only the website even this website can be given as a comments or description you can refer that there are a lot of other ways you can validate your json path after writing the json path in jmeter we can write exact value or we can write the regular expression also so this is concluding the json assertion for today so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day